Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a quick tutorial today because I've gotten some messages asking why vinyl isn't sticking to wood. I have used a method for a very long time to get this to work, so I am excited to share that with you today. I purchased this charcuterie board at Walmart for $5. You can find quite a few blinks at Walmart for a really good price. You can feel kind of like a film or something on top of the wood, so I could tell that the vinyl would not stick down to it, or sometimes it will, but it'll start picking up pretty quickly. What I like to do is add polycrylic to this before I add my vinyl, and also if you decide to stain it or paint it, I still like to add polycrylic after the stain or paint. There was a sticker on here and it left a little bit of a mark, so I decided to wash it off with some water and a paper towel. Normally, I would skip this part. If your wood is rough, you'll want to sand it down first before adding the polycrylic. Here's the polycrylic that I use. This one is clear matte. They also have glossy and I think semi-glossy. So depending on your project, for this one, I really wanted to use the matte. This is water-based, so it's not gonna cause any yellowing to your projects at all, which is awesome. I'm using a foam brush. You'll want to stir it up really good before, but you don't wanna shake the can because it'll cause air bubbles and that will transfer over to your wood. I'm also scraping some of it off. You don't want a ton on your brush. You want a nice thin layer and you can always add more coats later. You also want to apply your brush with the direction of the wood grain. And I do the entire board, even though I'm only adding vinyl to the bottom part, it just changes the feel of it a little bit. So I just want the whole thing to be uniform. Once it dried, I added another coat of polycrylic. I just didn't film it because I did it the exact same way as this. You don't necessarily have to add another coat. I would just kind of play it by ear. Now I'm ready to add my vinyl. I line it up where I want it and place it down. Then I remove the transfer tape and it's sticking down really well. If a piece comes up like the dot to the eye there, just burnish it down again and then start removing the transfer tape. I think I just didn't burnish it down very well to begin with. Here's how this looks. It gives the wood almost more of a finished look and the vinyl sticks down to it so well. I personally do not add any type of sealant on top of the vinyl. I just make sure to use good quality permanent vinyl for my projects. This would make a really great wedding gift or housewarming gift. You could add a bow on the top, kind of around the neck there. I think that would be super cute. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions. I would also love it if you subscribe to my channel if you are new.